It's uh, me, it's Bundagabi. And uh, tonight, I want to share a dream time story with you. All you children out there. It's the story about the balance of life. The story is told to me by old man, crocodile man, with the red eyes, Uncle Bill Creed. And it goes like this. Back in the dream time, in the beginning, God created all animals. He created the fish to swim. He created the birds to fly. And he created all the other animals walk upon the earth. Right down to those tiny little ants. Those tiny little ants. And when he created all the animals, he gave every animal a job to do. And back in the dream time, there was these two brothers. And one was a black cockatoo, and one was a white cockatoo. And the white cockatoo was the old cockatoo because he had the white hair. And the black cockatoo was the young cockatoo. He had the brown color, natural color. And the white cockatoo, he had responsibility to the young cockatoo. He had to teach him everything. How to hunt, how to fish, how to collect food in the seasons, play a didgeridoo, dance, all that, boomerang. And they were doing a special dance one day. And the white cockatoo was showing the young black cockatoo how to dance. And show him a dance, a special dance. And then they come to the end of the day and the sun went down. It was night time, just before night. And the white cockatoo said, black cockatoo, go home. And he said, tomorrow we finish off, I'll show you the rest of the dance. And black cockatoo went home and went to bed. Got up early the next morning, trotted off. And he was waiting for the white cockatoo to turn up. He was looking at his watch. And a uh, wombat comes up like this. He waddles up and he goes, Haven't you heard the news, black cockatoo? And he said, white cockatoo's died. He died last night in his sleep. Immediately, black cockatoo was grief-stricken. He was, went into deep mourning. He was in grief. And he went home. He pulled all the windows across all the curtains, locked himself in the house, away from everybody. And he started to go into deep mourning. And all the animals, they started to get worried because he wasn't coming out after two days. And so all the animals got together and they said, we better go and check on him. Who's going to get him to come out? Just get him to come out the house. And the kangaroo said, I'll get him out. Oh, he loves going spa, sparring with me. He, had, he used to spar, him and Black Cockatoo. And he knocks on the door and he goes, Black Cockatoo, come outside. We're going to go do some sparring. And Black Cockatoo said, no, no. He said, get away. He said, I'm not doing anything today. My mentor has died. He's finished. I'm in grief. He said, I don't want to talk to anybody for the rest of my life. Kangaroo went away and he told the rest of the animals and they said, well, it sounds serious. We better send in Kookaburra. And they said, Kookaburra said, yeah, I'll get him outside. He'll come for a laugh. We always go for a joke. And Kookaburra went away and knocked on the door. And Black Cockatoo was there. He said, go away. I don't want to take anybody inside. I don't want to go outside. Kookaburra said, oh, it's my, uh, it's me, Kook Kookaburra. Come outside, we'll go for a laugh. And Black Cockatoo said, no, nah, Kookaburra, not today. And Kookaburra went away, all sad. And that night, Black Cockatoo went into a deep sleep. And he had a vision. And in that vision, in that dream, he saw the white cockatoo come to him. And the white cockatoo said to him, he said, Black cockatoo, he said, I taught you everything. I taught you how to hunt, fish, 
cow hunting, dance, everything. He said, why are you locking yourself up in your house? He said, oh, because you were my mentor, you taught me everything. Now you're gone. He said, I don't want to live anymore. And uh, White Cockatoo said, he said, you know what? Everybody is born and everybody's going to die. He said, you'll be happy. Next minute you cry. He said, life's like that. It goes up and down. He said, so all I want you to do is go out tomorrow and continue on all the good work I did with you. He said, now you become the teacher. And he said, and don't worry, he said, when you die, he said, you come up to heaven and me and you get together and we'll finish the dance we started. I'll show you the rest of the dance. And that story is about balance. Life has got every way, angle going up and down. You're happy one minute, you're crying the next. You're dancing one minute. Next minute you can't even get out of bed. So, everybody that learned from that cockatoo dreaming, and that was told to me by Uncle Bill Creed, crocodile man himself. I'm Bunda Gubby. All you people out there stay. Doba Gibby. Strong black man. Thank you.